recent school shooting has put the spotlight on how agencies handle tips and warnings from the public. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim is here with more on what some are calling Dion a flawed system. Yeah, that's right, Dan and Kristen. Not only did the FBI receive warnings about shooter Nicholas Cruz months in advance, there had been a long history of disturbance at the home where he lived. So the question tonight stands. How did his potential for violence slip through the cracks? On behalf of myself and over 1,000 employees of the Miami field office, we truly regret any additional pain that this has caused. A stunning admission from the Federal Bureau of Investigations Friday over the handling of not one, but two overlooked tips regarding Marjorie Stoneman High School shooter Nicholas Cruz. Social media posts showed his obsessions with violence and how he wanted to be a professional school shooter. All of this just six weeks before 14 students and three staff members were gunned down. ABC 7 News spoke with former FBI agent Rick Smith. They're supposed to disseminate that to a field office, Miami in this instance, and then they either decide to do a background, they contact the school, interview the suspect, hopefully neutralize this. Also troubling, the amount of times the Broward County Sheriff's Office was called out to Cruz's home. Deputies were dispatched over 20 times in recent years. Every one of these calls for service will be looked at and scrutinized. Congresswoman Jackie Spear says this is prime example of how different agencies on a state and federal level must learn to work together. I think that kind of a, a multi-agency effort and coordination and communication is going to be key as we move forward. How that'll happen, all parties agree, is yet to be determined. In San Francisco, Dion Lim, ABC 7 News.